Hello Pilates and Yoga Lovers! Welcome back to my channel, Annie Pilates Physical Therapist. In this video, I'll be demonstrating 3 best stretches to do if you have scoliosis and a rib hump to help prevent that worsening of the hump and to improve your posture. So get your bolster and your mat ready and join me and Mr. Abel. So let's discuss a little bit of anatomy about rib hump. So rib hump is a manifestation of a scoliosis which means it's the rotation of your spine. So if your spinous process on your thoracic area usually it starts rotating. It's not, it's not just curving on one side but it's also turning towards the front. So the the spinous process of your spine turns more to the front and what happened to your ribs because your ribs are attached on your thoracic area. So we have 12 ribs and we have 12 thoracic spine. We have 33 vertebrae and the thoracic area is the most immobile which means not moving much because it's tight with the ribs for breathing to hold protect our heart and lungs. So if you have a lot of tightness and you have the curvature example to the right which is the most common curvature for scoliosis because most of us are right-handed dominant so you utilize your right so if you imagine you're using your right more so your shoulders go in front and so you're tight here in the front and then you have when you did the slump test when you asked to bend forward you started having a hump on the right side usually on the lower part from t10 to t12 and then you're gonna have some pain sharp pain not usually in the right side guess what it's on your left side where you have the concave area so the concave gets spasm and tight sometimes sharp pain like a costal chondritis which is an inflammation between your ribs your intercoastal muscles which needs to expand so I'll show you some three simple stretches so let's start now we we'll start with child pose child pose or puppy pose like able doing a puppy pose right now so you're gonna bend forward so if your curvature is on your right you're gonna cross your left towards your forehead sitting on your buttocks bend forward like the child pose but with the forearm bent place your forehead on your forearm and then reach forward with your right to stretch so what's happening right now you're lengthening this tight posterior ribs so you take a deep breath breathing is so important to expand your intercoastal muscles so if you expand your intercoastal muscles yeah able sometimes gets hyper <laughs> so you're gonna place your forehead down reach forward and you take a deep breath and blow my recommendation is 10 seconds hold up to 30 seconds 10 times so when you go forward like this you want to make sure you're slowly reaching forward inhale exhale if you have pain on your knees then to modify this you put support like a padded towels on your knees and then if you can't reach down on your buttocks because of tightness on your lumbar spine then you put a pillow to sit down on for support see it feels so much better and then you can extend more bend your left side place your head and rest take a deep breath through your nose to expand your intercoastal muscles and belly button in to engage your core muscles and blow one more breath inhale exhale so that's the first stretch so that will help lengthen and stretch in this position in child pose or puppy pose like mr abel here and then the next one you're gonna use the bolster with your palms out to external rotate your shoulder place it and slowly roll it forward and then because you have the curvature on your right you are gonna reach out more now on your left 
and then you try to press down on your right to slowly rotate the hump on your right so if you notice i'm leaning a little bit on my right i'm tilting my head to the right so if you notice this will really help the rotation on your ribs on my right so of course if your curvature is on your left and your hump is on your left do everything opposite of this video so let's try it again so i'm slowly reaching more see my left is further more and my right is leveled here and i'm tilting my head to the right on my neck so just imagine your cervical spine is turning it helps twist like a ringing i'm ringing the towel opposite of what you've been doing all day every day so you wanna lean down and 10 times up to 30 seconds hold so when you do this you can really feel your shoulder your lats and your serratus anterior near your armpit area opening up so try again slowly turn and lean take a deep breath so my left hands and fingers are further forward more and my right palms out exhale last breath inhale okay that's the second exercise and then the third one you'll be sitting up try your best to sit up straight but if this is difficult in cross-legged position use a pillow on your buttock to help lengthen and then i'm gonna go sideways so if my curvature is on my right so in the last stretch you're gonna sit up in this position stand up straight because you are having a curvature on your right apex if this is your hump on your right you need to lean this time now on your left palms up roll it keep your hands here and turn to the right to open your chest on your right and slowly go down keeping your hand out here and lean on your left so this time you're turning your rotation out of your right side so you hold this for 10 seconds hold up to 30 seconds as you progress 10 times a day so exhale up belly button in slowly turn so it's nice to twist first if you want to really challenge yourself twist to the right counteract the hump open and slowly lean if your hump is on your right turn to the right and lean your head your right your left ear on your left shoulder inhale exhale if you want me to do a follow along video for all of these exercises please leave a message down below and i'll try to make a video and i have more progression for yoga for scoliosis as you progress to strengthen and improve your overall flexibility to have a balanced life because if you have scoliosis for many years you have been compensating the wrong movement patterns repetitions the same pattern and it causes tightness on the concave side with weakness and elongated on the apex side with usually pain is both sides and it's more common on the tight concave side so those are the three best stretches you can do every single day before you're sleeping at night and have a video on proper sleeping position if you have scoliosis to prevent it from worsening while sleeping if you love this video and want to learn more about Pilates, yoga, physical therapy, health and wellness, please subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell so you won't miss anything. I upload videos three times a week, but sometimes every day if I have a workout challenge. I'm hoping you love this and you learn a lot. If you have questions, suggestions or requests, leave a comment down below or on my social media. The link description of my social media down below and if you want to support my channel i have a patreon account so you can support me financially so i can make better videos just like this one until next time always remember be safe be well and healthy you bye